All right, everyone. So today I'm going to be making a wonderful blueberry loaf. A uh, real simple recipe. Uh, so we'll just get started. We're going to start out with our wet ingredients. Everything's going to be room temperature. Our egg. Water. Our milk. And you want to use whole milk because if you use skim milk or something like that, it'll make it a lot drier. It won't be as moist. Now we'll get started on our dry ingredients, our flour, our oatmeal, cinnamon, our softened butter, Our sugar, salt, and last but not least, our yeast. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and close this up and we're going to program it for a basic white bread. And you can choose your color, whether you want it light, medium, or dark. I usually leave it on medium so it cooks all the way through. And we'll go ahead and start that. And then what you're going to do while you're waiting for this is you're going to make a mixture of one and a half cups of frozen blueberries and a third cup of flour. Mix that in a small little bowl and put it in the refrigerator so it can start to defrost while this is going because we're going to mix that in once this gets to the, uh, after the first mix and the first uh, rise, we're going to mix that in, the blueberry uh, mixture. Okay, so the first rise and the first knead are done, and so I'm going to add this in so during that second knead uh, it gets a chance to mix everything in. So I got the blueberry flour mixture, and I'm just going to throw that right in. And then I'm going to close up shop and start it back up again. All right, everyone, so we're back. The alarm went off, bread's done. I actually just pulled it out. I let it cool for a couple of minutes. It smells fantastic. And as I mentioned before, earlier, I left a note at the bottom. I was monitoring it throughout uh, to make sure that if it was too sticky to add a little bit more flour, which I did have to do. So make sure as you're watching it, uh, as it kneads and rises and goes into that second knead and rise and you've added the blueberries if it does seem a little bit too wet add some a uh, little bit of extra flour just a little pinch if you had to add a couple of them that's fine uh, and that's actually what I did so it kind of came out fantastic and we're going to take that first slice it smells great I can see the blueberries throughout that is really moist. Mmm. I can taste it all the way throughout. It's not overwhelming. Great bread, blueberry flavor. I can see the color all the way around. Delicious. Enjoy. <laughs> 